Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using input HTML date element how to disable the previous, the past dates and future dates in React JS. Now let's check the final output. When the user clicks the calendar, see here the future dates. The previous dates as well as future dates are disabled. Uh, today's date is 38 December, which in 31st December. The previous dates I disabled. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorial. In that video, I have explained how to set the default date to a input date element and how to get the selected date. See here, I am getting the selected date. Now, today's tutorial is I want to disable the past dates. Today's date is today's date is December 30th. I want to disable the past dates as well as the future dates. Just I want to display, just I want to enable the, just I want to enable only the current date. So switch back to the component and this is the code which we have seen the output on the browser. If you missed that video tutorial, you can find that video in my React.js playlist tutorial series or you can get the link at the end of this video tutorial. Now, uh, I am creating one function to disable the previous and uh, future dates. For that, disable dates dates is equal to I am defining one arrow function now in this function I am defining some variables variable today today is a variable which shows all the date month and year and the next variable I am defining the date for that I am declaring dd with mm is a month and yy is the year and after that now we want to get the today's date only the date not month for that and dd is equals to uh, what will happen? first we require the today is equals to new date class the date class after that now the next step after getting the total date month year and date now we'll get date today dot get get date get date plus one the plus one is today's date is 30th december so from 30th december i want to uh, disable the date the date and mm is equals to today dot get month get month and this also plus one the month also i want to disable the previous months and year is equals to today dot get year get full year get full year now the last return year The same format we need to enter. If you enter date first, month, and year, it does not work. Plus month plus plus not DD. It's for the date. Now we need to add this disable dates function in the input. Uh, here we'll add 
for the dirt element we have a property called minimum from the minimum property I'm adding this dot disable dates function that's it let's save this file save all compiled successfully we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser when a user wants to click see here we got all the previous dates are disabled see this arrow mark also is not working if you check the January the future dates it's showing it's enabled now to disable the future dates there's the same logic but let's add this function to the maximum property this dot disable dates that's it now let's save this file save all we'll check the output I'll reload the browser now let's check the final output when user clicks the calendar see here the future dates the previous dates as well as future dates are disabled uh, today's date is 38 December, between 31st December. The previous dates I disabled. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.